Like I may not be. Thank you. It, it create they create the demand, even though. It, Welcome to Low Budget ENT. Okay, it's your boy Low. It's 2024. Time to leave that hate over there by the door. Don't come in my house with it. Don't come in my comment section with it. Okay, it's 2024. If you hating on somebody in 2024, you a whole clown. Just know that. You get your own clown emoji. All right. Um. You see those links up under here? Go sub. Go hit all the other platforms we on. We're growing everywhere. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. It's with your one chance. Your one opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Yeah, I know. Look, I'm sick and under the weather. I'm just trying to get through this script. Oh, warnings, cautions, disclaimers now. So you've been warned. You skip this section and complain later. That's on you. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to get told. Uh. I could pause five times. I could pause 50 times. I could talk for five seconds. I could talk for literally the next five minutes. It just depends on what the music is giving us, okay? And Ren, he normally makes us talk. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Um, now, if you're one of those people that came to watch a reaction to a music video that you've already seen and you just can't stand the talking and it makes you mad, Upset, frustrated, annoyed, whatever. Got a couple remedies for you. Fast forward five seconds. Okay? Not a big of a deal. Two, you can back out because guess what? We're still growing over here without you. Um, and three, as everyone in the comment section of this Ren video will tell you, you can just take it up with your mama. Okay? Take it up with her. I don't care. Don't take it up with me. I warned you. You know what I'm saying? You go cry in the corner if you want to. Because the real ones know. Um, it's 1 to 10. The only 1 to 10 on YouTube that matters. We're over 2 minutes at this point. Uh, if you don't like the score I give or the scoring system, guess what? Refer back to step 3. Take it up with your mama. Today we're going to do Ren Dominoes. It's 4 minutes. Let's go. Oh, he stopped it and backed it up out the gate. I'm sorry. Take it up with your mama. Okay. We heard this the other day. At the end of one of the songs I did with the nephew, and like this was really, really good. Well, I heard maybe 15 seconds of it before I stopped. Y'all seen the end of the video? Y'all know. Shit. It's all the way up. Oh, you built this like domino. Dominoes, dominoes falling. Oh, you built this like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling. You oh, oh, build us up just to knock us back down. Funny how you act surprised when we hit the ground. We're like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling. So bleed me of all my self belief. My smile shows all my insecurity. That's a good play on words right there. That was nice. I love the guitar in this. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful guitar play. Dominoes, dominoes falling. You build us up just to knock us back down. Funny how you act surprised when we hit the ground. We're like domino, dominoes, dominoes falling. So bleed me of all my self-belief My smile shows all my insecurity In the kingdom of photoshopped Kings and queens will never feel happy with ourselves But insecurity sells Social media is a bitch, isn't it? 
Excuse me. Okay. Say a little bit of mouthful right there. Never feel happy. You should never not feel happy with yourself. I'm a king of this, okay? I, I sit here and beat myself into the fucking ground, right? Every day, daily. Like, sometimes before I even click record, I'm sitting here for two hours, you know, beating myself up. Like, man, they don't care. They don't want to see you. I know it's all fabricated and in here, but still. Happy with the <laughs> I have, <clears throat> excuse me. I have a daughter, okay? If you didn't know. Which, I mean, she's been in one of the intro videos before. Um... There's no way I would ever, I'm never, ever, no. Like, I, I let her know, I reassure her that she's beautiful and she never has to worry about what someone else thinks. Like, she will always be the most beautiful little girl and the most beautiful woman ever. Like, there's no way that I'm going to let mine deal with the shit that I deal with on a daily basis. Like, I'm going to, you know, keep telling her and reinforcing the fact that, you know, she never has to have an insecurity. I know she's going to have them. I know she will. It just happens. But I'm going to do everything I can in my power to help her through those. This part right here, though. In a kingdom of Photoshop kings and queens. Guarantee you, 80% of you could not be found from a, you know, I'm looking for this person poster. Because you, you, your whole fucking social image is Photoshopped. Kings and queens will never. Natural beauty is by far the best beauty. I feel happy with ourselves, but insecure with ourselves. Dominoes, dominoes, dominoes. It does. It really. Ah, he paused it again. Take it over with your mama, okay? Look, insecurity sells, and they sell the shit out of it. You know, they'll put these commercials out for, um, you know, what they think it should be and how you should look, and then if you don't look a certain way, especially with uh, women and little girls, especially little girls, you know, they target these these little young girls and then they make them feel insecure about the way that they've already begun, and then they try to reshape them and reform. It's, it's fucking disgusting, to tell you the truth. They prey on insecurities just for profit, and that's fucking disgusting. Dominoes falling Oh, you built this like dominoes, dominoes Ren's got like a really great voice. Like it's very, it like he, he's got so many different ranges. Like Islandy way over here, and now he's probably like over here with this raspy, very, very popish, very, very low mannered, very, um, like talking into a phone type of deal. Like it's very different, very clean, very nice. We hit the ground with like dominoes, dominoes. Just a twinge of the islandiness in there. Just a twinge of you can barely hear it, but it's there. Dominoes falling. I hide my head under the sheets. Cause how can I face a world that ridicules the weak? Where beauty is sold on the shelves Forbid that we find it in ourselves And and now I'm broke, it don't come cheap Oh, you built this like Dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling Oh, you built this like Dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling Oh, you build us like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes We keep falling, you keep falling Like, they set it up to where your insecurity Knocks over to the next insecure person. And then you ruin their insecurities. And then knocks into the next one. And they want a chain reaction. Of one insecurity knocking off someone else's insecurities. They hope. And then they're all in the background doing the motion that I'm doing with my hands right now. Because they're making money. Clapping. While they're pushing us over. And force. You know not really forcing us. But you know. Making a status quo. You know as what it is. For this type of content. Yo, oh, oh, build us up just to knock us back down Funny how you act surprised when we hit the ground We're like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling Araya was the most beautiful girl in this world She shined like diamonds and rubies and pearls But then, as soon as she turned 13 She forgot just how bright that it was that she gleamed Stuck in the material world of magazines That glamorise fake and photoshop beauty queens Top 10 beauty tips making her feel inadequate For the first time in her life she felt ugly 
So Araya stopped eating to lose weight She spent her dinner money on some makeup for her face But no matter how much she lost Or how much she bought She was never good enough Or so she thought Araya felt she could never be loved She started cutting her wrists and hiding her scars with gloves At 16 an anorexic beauty queen She collapses in a puddle of her tears and blood Cause she never felt enough She never felt enough Your sellers thought this lie that we must buy to keep in touch We can never buy enough Never buy enough yeah, I didn't want to talk. I wanted to let it ride, you know, but what I was just talking about, like, and I don't want to say this and it come off mean, okay, but women shouldn't be doing this to other women, okay? If anything, you should be uplifting one another because you know how this feels. You know what I'm saying? And it's so ridiculous, bro. It just really is. Like, a little girl can't look into a magazine onto her. Uh, she, well, I mean, honestly, should be on social media before you're an adult, but it's whatever they're going to be. Um, she's got all these outlets that she's looking at, and you know, she sees that she's not enough. And like he said, you know, she stops eating, becomes anorexic, starts cutting herself because she's not happy no more. Don't ever, don't ever do this shit to someone. Like this is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like. Always reassure them that they're very beautiful in their natural state. Like, one, especially with women, they do this all the time. I don't, I, and I don't get it. Like, you should not do this to another woman. Like, yeah. like, you should just be helping her and lifting her up. Like, it's fuck. I, not mine. Not mine. I'm gonna make sure mine always knows. Enough. All the riches in the world come by a sense of self-love Funny how you act surprised when depression's levels rise When you're forced to be the inadequacy straight into our eyes Television shows that praise the beautiful people And talent competitions that just laugh at the feeble I mean, constructive criticism is, is needed, okay? But to outright mock someone because you didn't find what they did good enough is ridiculous You know what I'm saying? Um, it happens here on the channel, like, you know, somebody will come by and be like, oh, like somebody looked at the back wall and was like, oh, well, you're poor and you live in your mom and dad's basement, which is the furthest thing from the fucking truth. We actually own this home, you know, um, and then he even went to tell me that he hoped my kids didn't look like me. Like, you, it's just, there's evil people out there that hide behind anonymity and feel like it makes them a bigger person just because they can trash someone with their freedom of speech and opinion ridiculous bro this is just a sad world to be honest with you um also if i misinterpret something it's because it's the first time i'm hearing it and i'm just speaking on what i'm hearing and it's not really my brain's a million miles an hour so it just picks out whatever so like if i misinterpret something i'll take it too harshly okay but it is what it is it's a fresh raw reaction i'm not editing out any mess ups or any weird random thoughts we're just doing it Billboards, magazines, people turned to plasticine, molded like a factory. We're growing up to fear, feeling ugly. It's lunacy, and not even the community. It's insecurity breeds judgment, judgment breeds hate, no unity. And hierarchy based upon aesthetics is what makes a kid in school get bullied for genetics. And I felt so ugly growing up. The way that I look sometimes got me beaten up. I mean, what the fuck? sort of culture do we live in when we're defined by the shape of our face when we're ashamed by the size of our waist when we're imprisoned by the form that we take and so we keep buying and spending that's just how this story goes you build us up just to knock us back down and we just keep falling like dominoes it's a modern one if you was wondering it's a modern system like the shit these standards of beauty and, you know, the male physique and, you know, how everything is the standard. This wasn't the standard 100 years ago. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't standard 200 years ago, 300 years ago, 400,000, never how far you want to go back. It's just a modern conception, okay? And it's a modern conception to force you to spend money to look a certain way. And it's ridiculous when every single one of you are beautiful in your own fucking way and don't let anyone ever fucking tell you different okay and if they do tell them to come over here to lbe and they'll get some fucking taste of medicine okay because like every one of you are beautiful in your own way you all have your own beauty never let that be taken from you fuck that shit bro um no fuck that
I grew up with insecurities because um, right around the time of puberty, I was smoking hella weed. When you hit puberty and smoke weed and have the munchies, guess what? You turn into a fat, fat person. I was going to say, you know, something else, but I don't want to be derogatory if it makes someone feel uncomfortable. But even still, like, I struggle, like, it's not all there, but it's still something there. Like, we kind of tone down a little bit. See, there's a little, but the, the midsection, I mean, it's hard, okay? Like, and then once you get that mindset, of you know, I have to do this to look this way, look that way, look this way. Then you're gonna put yourself through depression. You're not gonna fuck. You're gonna start cutting. Just a million things. Like don't ever let someone tell you you're not beautiful. And if they do, fuck them. They ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. Uh, this was really good. This touched on a lot. Um. I really loved the uh, guitar play. The backtrack was really good. Chorus and shit was really good too. Still got the sniffles, gang. I'm sick. Um, I'm not. Uh, this was really good, especially with what he was saying and how he said it. I'm actually giving this. This is going to be a 9-1. Nine, 9.1. One. 9. One. Now that makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 songs of Rin that I have in an amazing category, which is really amazing. <laughs> one day we will find that 10. One day we will find a 10. I promise you, gang, that. All right, so you know the deal. If you made it this far, you are a true... MVP of the channel and I really fucking appreciate you bro um thanks for sticking with me thanks for helping me grow you guys are fucking amazing we just hit 800 and I mean it's at 800 and then it'll go to 799 then it'll hit 800 and then it'll go to 799 we ain't fucking 800 right now gang I can't fucking believe it you guys are fucking crazy for following this little white boy from the backwoods of Alabama off in the fucking trailer somewhere that nobody will ever find I can't believe it, man. Don't forget 1,000 subs. We're doing a giveaway. <laughs> and we're doing a whole fucking live stream of Ren content. I'm talking interviews, behind the scenes footage, songs we ain't done, shit we ain't covered. Anything you guys want Ren content, we're going to do at the giveaway on the live stream. This shit's going to be amazing. Make sure you go hit them links and find me on Twitch so you can stay up to date. Go to Twitter. Drop me a follow so you can stay up to date. I'm on Facebook. Toby knows this. Go ahead, Toby. She knows where I'm at everywhere. I'm probably going to make her a mod for the channel because she's just, she's always on top of it. She's like the highest MVP on the channel. Shouts to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, big love, guys. We out of here.